If there's one thing I've learned about cycling in general, it's that practicing multiple disciplines makes you a better rider. Even road riding can teach you about energy management and cadence, skills that are very useful in mountain biking. Here on this channel, we've seen firsthand how skills learned in BMX and trials can translate well to mountain biking. I've been thinking a lot about this, and I figured it was time to learn something totally new. What could I try that would force me to learn something radically different? Say hello to my new Nimbus Oracle, a 27 plus mountain unicycle with a hydraulic disc brake. Talk about overkill, this unicycle is badass. Now most cyclists have tried a unicycle at some point. That experience usually only lasts a few minutes, during which time there's a lot of falling and no progression. That is an accurate summary of my unicycle experience up until now. I've never owned one, I've never spent considerable time with one, and I most certainly have not learned how to ride a unicycle. A few weeks back I reached out to Unicycle.com and told them I wanted to learn how to ride. Lucky for me they were already fans of the channel and were very excited about my idea. Without their help I may have ended up with the unicycle equivalent of a Walmart bike. I think it's more interesting and relevant that we do this on a mountain unicycle because eventually I can take it out on the trails. Even if you have no interest in unicycling, this series at its very core is about learning how to learn. In this learning to unicycle series, we'll follow my progression from learning to ride to getting out there in the dirt and mud. Eventually, I hope to do all sorts of sketchy stuff on this thing. I don't know how long this will take, but I'll be practicing every day for 30 minutes until I learn the basics. I'm excited to learn something new and experience the breakthrough moments that only a newbie gets to have. I can't wait to see if any of these skills apply to bicycling, or if unicycling is just too different for any shared skill sets to exist. Finally, I'm excited to find out if I'll enjoy unicycling for its own sake. I've heard that it feels really cool. If you're not so stoked about this new series, you'll be happy to know that I have a lot of other two-wheeled stuff in the works. Still, I urge you to stick with me on this, because I promise this is going to be a lot of fun. If you want to learn along with me, dust off that old unicycle in your basement, or head over to unicycle.com to see what they have to offer. Besides manufacturing a lot of their own stuff, they're just really cool people in general. As for me, I've got a whole lot of practicing to do. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.